inadequate funding for the agricultural sector, water scarcity, poor infrastructure and lack of attention to climatic conditions such as drought are the major challenges for food security in Africa. During his visit to Uganda, the Food and Agriculture Organization Director General Jacques Dioff highlighted the need for governments to invest in crops resilient to climate change, adopt irrigation and assist farmers acquire farm inputs as a move intended to reduce climate-induced risks. The need for farmers to get access to the inputs. Mm -hmm. If they don't have the seeds, the fertilizers, uh, if those who are raising animals don't have the animal feed, the vaccines to protect the animals. Mm. Uh, therefore, unless we undertake programs uh, to do water harvesting, to do irrigation for crop production, but also to have wells and uh, other uh, systems uh, of, uh, uh, to ensure water availability for the livestock on the pass uh, to their pasture, uh, naturally we will be back to the same situation. While meeting the minister in charge of agriculture at his office in Entebbe, the FAO director general said despite the current humanitarian situation at the Horn of Africa, the food security situation in most countries on the continent, including Uganda, has generally improved. But he pointed out the need for African governments to increase their agricultural budgets to focus on long-term food security requirements. Uh, in relation to the Maputo commitment, uh, the budget should have uh, share uh, of agriculture should have reached 10 percent now. Uh, we were, uh, uh, from my data, at 3.8 expected to reach 4.9 percent. What naturally we are very pleased with uh, is that uh, over the recent past there have been more progress in agriculture in Africa. Uh, that there are at least 14 countries that have reached or about to reach uh, their food security uh, 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 level. Naturally, it's 14 out of uh, 54. So there are still others that have uh, more efforts to do. The agricultural minister said Uganda has already adopted a strategy to improve the sector. He said government will soon build silos to store excess food during bumper harvests. Because silos are very important, we think that we must uh, have some reserve stock somewhere for, for a rainy day. Yes. Jacques Diouf was on a one-day visit to Uganda. He was scheduled to pay Katase call to President Museveni. Michael Balike, NTV Tonight.